guys what's up I'm back now and today's video is going to be November favorites because it's nearing towards the end of November so I'm gonna start with makeup and then move into other little weird things so starting with makeup I'm just gonna start with the first thing that's right in front of me is my eyeliner this is my white eyeliner that I got from Ulta, and it's by the brand Jane. Yeah, and I haven't seen this brand in Ulta um, ever before since I bought this. So, um, I'm guessing it's like a new brand that's in Ulta. But anyway, it's a water-resistant eyeliner, so number one, it doesn't come off. Number two, it's a really brightening eyeliner, so when you put it on your eyes, it does like that thing where like you put the white under your eye, and it's supposed to make your eye look brighter. Yeah, it does that, trust me. I recommend it. I think this next product has literally been in every freaking month favorites I've ever done so far, and it is my Mally Eye Concealer Powder. Because literally, you don't even understand my obsession. You just don't understand it. I literally use this product like it is my life. Like, when I did Project Pan, I could not survive without this. So I had to make it part of Project Pan. That's literally how much I am addicted to this product. Literally. And I said literally probably about 5,000 times now. The next one is my Stila in the Light Palette, and I literally have loved this palette since I bought it. It just has like all these really pretty, you know, colors in it and stuff. And there are a lot of shimmery, but they have some matte ones. Like, okay, and then the next one is this L'Oreal Paris Double Extended. Mascara and there's two sides to this you will notice they sell these mascaras um, In every color based on eye color So they're like there's ones for brown eyes ones for green and one for blue and I obviously have brown eyes So I have the one for brown eyes and basically what you do is you twist off the first part and it's just a regular wand with black mascara and then you turn the other side over and it's this little bubbly round wand with this goldy shimmer color on it. And you put that on your eyelids, I mean on your um, eyelashes and it makes your eyelashes kind of a maroony shimmer kind of. And it looks really pretty too when you have a nice gold eyeshadow on. The next one is my Estee Lauder Shimmering Loose Powder. I literally love this. This is my new favorite powder. Um, I use this as a highlighter, uh, when I, when I put it on, and it's hard to get off, because I don't want it to spill, and it smells really good, it's kind of weird, it smells like flowers, I don't know, it, it smells like perfume, actually, it's kind of weird, but it's a really, really nice powder. Then, the next one is my Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. This primer is the new love of my life. It literally, like, I'm obsessed with primers because of my oily skin. So I always have had an obsession with primers, whether they worked, whether they didn't work, whether they kept your makeup on, you know, you know, if they did what they were made to do. And literally, I have tried 5,000 face primers. None of them have worked the way this one does. If you have oily skin, I seriously recommend buying the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer because it literally, not only does it keep your makeup on, but it takes away the shine from your face when you put it on. And it's also really nice and airy because I've had, I don't get, foundations are, oh not foundations, primers are not meant to feel like you have anything on. And for some reason, a lot of my old primers did. It felt like I had just put foundation on when I only had put the primer on. So it made me not even want to put foundation on. But this one works really good and I love it so much. The next one is a product that when I got off of Project Pan that I said I really wanted to try. 
And when I did my celebratory makeup tutorial, I um, used it and I said it was really good. And I sort of maybe kind of have an obsession. <laughs> Just a little bit. This is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Smooth Souffle Foundation. And it comes with this cute little glass tub thing. And someone want to tell me my obsession. <laughs> because I'm literally obsessed. This stuff you like put you can just dab it in your in your on your finger. I keep I can't talk today. And then you just like put it on your hand like this and you can just rub it right in. Boom. Can't even see it anymore. And it literally feels like there's nothing on my hand. It literally like you put it on and there's literally like you can't even tell that there's anything on your face. This is a really good one. I got this at Ulta, I think, and it was, I think, about $5. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't expensive at all. Okay, the next product is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is a sample from um, Ulta. Like, they have, like, the little samples for a lot cheaper. And I really wanted to try this out because a lot of people said that it's really good for oily eyelids. But I've had issues in the past where I've believed people like that and went out and bought like a $20 concealer and it never worked on me. So I decided that now if they want me to buy a high-end one, I'm just going to buy the sample and try it out. And if it works, then I'm going to go back and buy the, the full size. Well, needless to say, I'm going back to buy the full size because this literally like my eyeshadow stays on all day. Like, I have had such issues with my eyeshadows, like, slipping off my face, like, during the day. And it's really annoying. The next thing is my NYC lipstick in the color Petal. And I literally have an obsession with this color. And I keep saying obsession, so I have an obsession with a lot of things lately. This is what it looks like. And it's just really pretty, it's this really pretty pinky shimmer it's like a pink lipstick with a shimmer um tone to it and it's a really pretty lipstick and what i really like about the nyc lipsticks is that they actually dry and when they dry they dry like a lipstick because i've had other lipsticks where they just stay wet and then they just come off and it's really annoying too because i'm weird like that and my perfume love for this summer i keep saying summer <laughs> My perfume love for this month has been Justin Bieber's um, girlfriend, and I am in love with the smell. I am in love with the packaging. Like, look at this packaging. It's adorable. It's literally like this really pretty pink and purple, like, spirally thing, and when you pull it off, it has a heart that says um, Justin Bieber, like, on it, and then in here it says never let you go. And then the bottle is in the shape of a heart. It's just adorable. And you put it into the heart thing. And you put it on here. And you twist it. And it's so cute. I'm in love. <laughs> okay. So now moving on to other little things that I've been loving for this. I was going to say the summer again. For this month. Um, so my favorite YouTuber for this month. This is a really tough one because I have a lot of favorite YouTubers. And the um, YouTuber-wise, like the vlogger, I don't know why, but I've kind of been sort of addicted to gamers a lot more this month. I don't know why. So I've been really watching Jerome ASF and um, the Beijing Canadian, like, all day, every day. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> and my favorite month, my favorite month, I can't talk today, my favorite song for this month is Someone by Trevor Moran, even though that song came out a long time ago, and I did love it when it first came out, and I just can't stop playing it. It's on my Spotify. I literally, at the concert, I recorded the whole entire song on my camera. It's literally on my camera right now, and I can't stop listening to it. It's so addicting. And it's really bad. Um, if you watch my previous video, the first song in the video for the concert is uh, is Trevor Moran's Someone. So, yeah. Hashtag my addictions. <laughs> yeah. 
And the last one is your favorite moment of this month. I think we can all agree that my favorite moment this month was meeting two six of my sunshines and all of SDK, including Joe. It was literally my my life. I I can't even. My heart was falling out of my body. Okay, anyways, <laughs> so let me come down a little bit. So anyways, besides that, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you did, give it a giant thumbs up because I like seeing that you guys like my videos. And I will see you all on Friday with a brand new video. And don't forget, creativity takes courage. Adios, amigos.